part, baby. Walking around because it's squat, crawl, not squat, stand, and watch. We got the we got the audience up ahead of me right now. I'm gonna be performing in two stages. This is the proverbial green room. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, everywhere is the green room because there's plenty of green. Give it up for Chill Cut Camp. Woo! Okay, this is the, uh, this is it folks, got, we got fucking downtown behind me, the first homeless stand-up tape, okay? <laughs> I am a comic without a home, this is, we had alt comedy, now we have apocalypse comedy, okay? I am the one prepping for doomsday, I'm the first doomsday comedian and I will be fucking ready. <laughs> I can do this with or without the lights. <laughs> we can be doing this shit in the fucking dark. I do not care. Uh, if there's any industry watching this, I am surprised. Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, that's cool of you. <laughs> nice, yeah, man. This is where I do it every week, man. Outside, fuck, man. Uh, my name, Mike Born. my given name is Bill Kotkamp which is fucked up because I can't even say that shit, you know? <laughs> like, you should be able to say your own last name, but it's that hard to pronounce Kotzkamp that it, nobody hears it. Uh, <laughs> anybody know where that shit's from? Any guesses on where Germany. Kot... Germany. Germany, common guess, okay? But actually, Germany took over my people! <laughs> Okay? Yeah, bitch, I'm fucking Prussian, and those goddamn Germans took my homeland! <laughs> okay? And I am obviously for real pissed about it. <laughs> this is not feigned anger. I have no history! <laughs> the most I know is that one of my great-grandfathers was a polo jockey, so we grew up a lot, you know? <laughs> The Cock Camp lineage, we evolved. <laughs> we used to be tiny and ride horses, and now we're tall and stand with buildings. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah, dude, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I am, I mean, I'm basically just German. I'm German and uh, British, and my dad is German and half Irish. So like, I come from a long line of patriarchal, just pure anger, you know? <laughs> I got a lot of anger in my fucking blood, baby. It's familial. <laughs> it's familial anger. It's been passed down. You know, my grandfather threw plates. My dad broke a, a shoe rack over his leg. Shit was crazy, man. What am I going to do? We don't know yet. <laughs> I tried to talk about my anger issues with my therapist. Uh, I tried to bring it up by being like, yeah, I have really bad, you know, road rage. And uh, my therapist was just kind of like, hey, it's not bad. And then that's how we ended the session. <laughs> Which, uh, that's kind of some irresponsible therapy if you fucking ask me, because he doesn't know what I'm doing. I might hop out of my car and fucking scythe a bitch, okay? <laughs> I had a scythe in the back of my car when that joke was written. It was plastic, it wouldn't have done much damage. <laughs> But it would have it would have sent the message <laughs> that I hope the Grim Reaper comes and takes their fucking soul for cutting me off. <laughs> Could you imagine driving down the street and you just see in your rear view the car behind you is like, hey, <laughs> hey, come on now, the Grim Reaper's waiting for you. <laughs> Careful on the road, you fuck. <laughs> there comes the Irish heritage. <laughs> Careful on the road, you dirty bastard. <laughs> Yeah, that's an ad lib. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, folks. I, hey, industry, don't worry. That's an ad lib. <laughs> I keep talking directly to the, as if. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, all right, let's fucking stop talking about me, my history. You know, let's cut to the real shit. Babies fucking suck, am I right? Yeah. I never met a baby I could like. Yeah, babies don't have fucking personalities. People think babies are happy when they smile. That's fucking bullshit. They don't know what that means. They're not old enough to know what a smile represents. 
I don't have to talk about a specific baby to convince you that they suck, you know. I don't got to talk about some baby in particular. I can just talk about myself as a baby, you know. Like, I fucking suck. Day one, they had to take me out my mama's vagina with a vacuum, for real. <laughs> they took a vacuum out and that's how big I was. My mom, could, they couldn't even do a C-section. It was too late. <laughs> I was the size of, I was like a fat football. I was 11 ounces, 11 inches, baby. That's fat. That's a fat baby. On the hospital floor, like, I guess all the nurses were freaking out because they were like, oh, yeah, there's a big baby. This lady just pushed out a monster. <laughs> I can't believe it came out of her. And uh, my parents tried to say, like, oh, yeah, when you were born, that was your first uh, 15 minutes of fame. And if they'd known that I was going to get into entertainment, they would have known how messed up that was to tell me. Okay? That was not okay they kept saying that to me. But I didn't stop sucking the day I was born. You know, I kept going. One time my family took us all to the, uh, to the beach, and I had learned how to kind of walk, and I just wandered off. And uh, I don't know if you knew this, but the beach is the worst place to lose a baby because it either got stolen by a criminal baby snatcher or uh, the worst baby snatcher of all the ocean okay <laughs> and that guy is not giving your baby back <laughs> he is just gonna it's just gonna wave on by it's gone forever <laughs> i hope they liked the joke that boat <laughs> passing by <laughs> you know because uh if you lost your baby in here it's coming back but if you lose your baby in the ocean it might end up raised by dolphins okay <laughs> That might sound fun and playful, but they ain't no wolves. They don't understand the concept of family the way we do. <laughs> okay? Those dolphins are savages. They rape each other's blowholes. That's messed up. That'd be like if somebody raped your mouth. Oh, that happens. Fuck. <laughs> That's fucked up. Okay, my bad. Um, but yeah, next time you see a dolphin at SeaWorld, don't feel bad for it. It belongs there. That is its prison. <laughs> okay, next time you see a dolphin at sp SeaWorld, spit on it and say, I hope you stay in there, you sex criminal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's just one marine biology fact about dolphins on why they belong in jail, you know. They also belong in jail because they, uh, they're kind of, this is a marine biology fact is, um, in the feeding process of like a lot of different animals, birds and other animals that eat fish, the dolphins are the ringleaders. And they go into the ocean and they scream in echosonic at the fish to get them to cyclone so they don't know where to go. They're just, it's an echosonic so you can't hear it. And they fucking gang them all up like who? Like the Gestapo, okay? <laughs> dolphins are Nazis, okay? Keep them in SeaWorld. I'm trying to get a SeaWorld sponsorship, folks. <laughs> trying to get people to see, hey, maybe some of these animals do belong in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, dolphins suck. You know, babies suck. I actually made a song about how much I hate babies because I want the next generation to hate babies, too. And I don't know if I should sing all of it because my voice is already dying. So you might have to help me. Let's freaking do it, baby mama. All right, kids, today we're learning about sex education. And now if you're not careful, you'll get a wham, bam, baby mama. 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 Get a wham, bam, baby mama. Wham, bam, baby mama. Wham, bam, baby mama. Baby mama, wham, bam, baby mama, wham, bam, baby mama, back to the after prom, wham, bam, baby mama, two people at a party, wham, bam, baby mama, freaks in the sheets, wham, bam, baby mama, jizz in the jacuzzi, wham, bam, baby mama, 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 sex without a condom, Take a pill. Wham, bam, baby mama. Your test comes up blue. Wham, bam, baby mama. Stay without a 
a woman's right to choose. Wham, bam, baby mama. 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 Don't know where dad went. Cause you're a wham, bam, baby mama. Where are the monster Wait, there it is. Had a kid like Jimmy. Wham, bam, baby mama. thinking about having kids maybe fucking don't do it for me <laughs> I got a real kid problem oh shit yeah you know I lived in New York for a little bit uh, I really loved it you know New York the city that never sleeps cuz as I was up all night fucking gaming baby yeah <laughs> hell yeah we got a lot of gamers in the audience who know what New York is all about <laughs> Yo, those East Coast pings are low as shit. <laughs> I be grinding XP all damn night. <laughs> grinding XP till six in the morning. New York, where is you going? <laughs> our favorite song, our favorite song by Jay-Z. <laughs> uh, in New York, concrete jungle, let's do a raid soon in World of Warcraft because we're in New York. <laughs> I've never tested this before, but I thought, why not? <laughs> Hell yeah. I also really appreciated doing Baby Mama in front of this young one right here. He freaking loved singing it. Let's, you know. <laughs> Let's show just how inappropriate this outdoor special really is. Okay. <laughs> uh, when I was in New York, I didn't just spend my whole time gaming. I did spend a majority of it because it was in the winter. But uh, I went back in September and I was riding a jet ski. And I remember riding that jet ski and like fearing for my life, you know. And uh, they say, but when you're fearing for your life, you're going to think of your loved ones or your family. All I thought about was how dumb it is I'm afraid to post. I was like, I could die right now and I'm afraid of posting on the internet. <laughs> God damn it, how many, how many selfies could I have taken <laughs> without fear? This is true fear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My girlfriend at the time was on a jet ski behind me, was not thinking of her, was thinking of Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that shows how bad the internet is because... Uh, I'm still afraid to post, gonna be honest, you know. <laughs> it was not cured that day. <laughs> um, you know, I'd skydive before I would make a post that's, you know, questionable. <laughs> Absolutely, less afraid of skydiving than I am of posting. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit, and it's like, the last place I lived, it wasn't much better for sleep, you know, it's like, the people upstairs for me had such loud sex all night. It was like, pfft. I had to move out of my parents' house, you know what I mean? Like, they would just go all freaking night. Uh, 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 I love basketball. Uh, uh, uh. I work at a girl's home. <laughs> Come on, Dad, why are you talking about your favorite sport? And Mom, why are you talking about where you work while you're having sex? <laughs> This isn't a contrived story about my parents fucking boning. They really did that, you know? I saw my parents kiss. <laughs> I never saw my parents kiss, man. What the hell? Why were they together if they weren't kissing, folks? <laughs> For a little bit, I was trying to get them to kiss in front of me at every time we'd all meet up. I'd be like, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> And my dad would just get mad. 
And it was like funny. It was like he'd be upset and I'd do it again and then I'd stop. But one time, like, I did it at Disneyland, Disneyland adjacent, okay, downtown Disney. <laughs> okay. It wasn't Disneyland. Uh, and uh, he was like, he got real pissed that time. He was like, you need to stop fucking doing that. And I was like, whoa, love isn't real, okay? <laughs> Moving on then. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, one time he punched me too, because like, he was meeting my sister's now fiance for the first time, and I was like, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> and he got up from across the table, and he was like, you need to uh, stop that. <laughs> yeah, my dad is slightly abusive, you know what I mean? Ha, 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 yeah, but I had a lot of fun at my parents' house, you know what I mean? They weren't paying attention so I could get as high and fucked up as I wanted to. Hell yeah. I used to think that was a good thing. <laughs> yeah, until this year, I thought I was going to be like, you know what, teens? Maybe you should do drugs, because I turned out OK. <laughs> but I had a lot of good memories back there in mom's basement, and I made yet another song about it. A lot of mom themes tonight. You think, who do I have the most problems with? You know what I mean? Probably my mom. <laughs> hey, everyone, there's a party down here. Everyone here drinking real cheap beer that my mama bought from the grocery store. The bombs on baseline, that's for sure. And we bump a track beat so damn loud. Nothing ever gonna bring this party down because my mama works the late shift. So she would never mother freaking hear this. We got cups with the ice. Straight from the fridge, cups with the ice, straight straight from the fridge, and you know it's a party because there ain't no lid, and you know it's a party because there ain't no lid. But don't sell on my mom's coffee table, I'll stick you out, that's my friend Abel, I'm sorry Abel, you had to go, so I keep on making. Noise from the basement, mom's basement, 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 noise from the basement, who's basement, noise from the basement, mom's basement, noise from the basement, mom's basement, noise from the basement. Mom's basement, noise from the basement. Who, who's basement? Noise from the basement. My mom's basement. Noise from the basement. 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 I'm so tired. Sweet it is to finally be cool. Everyone here I know from high school, except Jewel and Junior college, college. For the past six years, I gained my knowledge, so glad I skipped university. Cause I could sleep, eat, and drink for free. And my mama's basement, no cover feet. And you know we throw the best parties. And all of the bullies moved out of town. Now they got families and they always frown. Said all of the bullies moved out of town. Now they got families and they always frown. So we all know that kids suck. Say it loud. Kids suck, except for me, cause I rock. And my mama loves me. Make it. Also my dad's basement, also my sister's basement, but it's mainly my mom's basement. She makes the rules, it's my mom's basement. I think I have a water over there. Can I get that water break real quick? Is it? It's jumping the lake. Do I have a water somewhere? <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's gonna be water break. Hey everybody, I'm back. I couldn't find my water in that one second. <laughs> Believe it or not, I couldn't find my, oh, somebody's got a water for me. Oxy has a water for me. Hydrate. Guys, well, hydrate everybody, this is a water break. Everybody take a second and think about what got you here. <laughs> <laughs> where'd you go wrong, you know? <laughs> I know where I went wrong, where'd you go wrong, you know? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Some bird was trying to chime in, it was like, what was it trying to say? We'll never know. Mm. You know, despite how silly a lot of my premise are, I'm actually uh, pretty political as well. You know, it's like in California, they're trying to build this bullet train up to NorCal. And it's like, it's going to go through all this farmland to go to, you know, Silicon Valley. And it's like, you might think, oh, isn't that just a place of business? There's not really much reason for there to be a 30 minute train there. Uh, it's going to go through all this farmland, but it's like, Come on, y'all, freaking robots, that's cool. 
You know what I mean? Screw the farmers who produce the most of the food. Fuck that shit, right? <laughs> okay? Who needs to eat? That's what I thought. Nobody. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Screw the farmers. Who needs a robot? Yes! <laughs> Yo, I'm ready to go up there, man. They already got all kinds of crazy robots, you know? Yeah, people are afraid of RoboCop. Silicon Valley, they've already got it, okay? <laughs> There's already a robot up there that has injured somebody. It's already too late. Yes! <laughs> Hell yeah, but you know what? I'm ready to make. I'm, I, yeah, you know what I mean? We need a little robot, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Who knows how to roll up a motherfucking joint, am I right? <laughs> Yo, hell yeah, fuck the farmers, you know what I mean? I'm trying to smoke a joint. <laughs> At least I used to be. I'm sober, baby. <laughs> but I know y'all stoners like to get fucked up, and how funny would it be if it was a little robot doing it for you? <laughs> You know what I mean? That'd be worth getting rid of all that farmland, am I right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a joint? A little robot rolled up. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Now, who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a joint? A little smoke a robot joint. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a joint? A little robot rolled up. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? I'm trying to head up to Silicon Valley and find me a robot who knows how to roll up a joint. A little robot joint. Damn, how cool would that be? A little robot rolling joint just for me. I'd go up to Silicon Valley and say, could I please have a robot joint today? And the robot would be like, boop that bit, and it'd have that joint right there in the clip. Then I'd pat that robot on the head and say, great job today, my robot buddy. Yeah, who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a joint? A little robot rolled up. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? I'm trying to head up to Silicon Valley. <laughs> Find me a robot. Not that one. Knows how to roll up a joint. A little robot joint. If a robot rolled a joint, I'd be flipping. If a robot rolled a joint, I'd be tripping. Down to the Silicon Valley store to ask them if they got any more. And if they had a floor model ready, you know I'd be taking that home my way. And that robot would be rolling around my house like, Bill, do you want a joint? And I'd be like, yes, please, robot, roll me a joint. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a joint? A little robot rolled up. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? I'm trying to head up to Silicon Valley and find me a robot who knows how to roll up a joint. A little robot joint. Who's trying to smoke a robot joint? Who's trying to smoke a robot So yeah, I'll be running for governor 2020. That's my ballot. <laughs> I can't wait for that to be on, on ABC7 News. <laughs> That's my official campaign video. <laughs> it reminds me of the time in high school, my friend ran for student body president and his only platform was he was gonna bring KFC back. <laughs> he won by a landslide, says I will as well. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what, I haven't checked in on you guys. How's everybody doing? Woo! Yeah, y'all feeling good? Yeah. Hell yeah, because I am fucking terrified. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been scared this whole fucking time. <laughs> I bet none of y'all noticed, huh? <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't make eye contact with any of you for more than a goddamn second, okay? <laughs> and if I had, I would have pissed my pants. <laughs> The weird part about that is, I also would have liked it. <laughs> Just a little, you know what I'm saying? It would have been nice. <laughs> Ooh, and it was. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How was it for you? Pretty good. Pretty good, okay. <laughs> he pissed too, folks. <laughs> That's how it is, you know? Physical interaction is fucking scary. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? It's true though. You know, every time you've heard me getting loud, the louder I get, the more scared I am. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my fight or fight. When I make that noise, I want to run away. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I've gotten through it. The way I've been standing and talking, you know, it doesn't seem like I'm afraid. It seems like I'm giving you a freaking TED talk on how to make a million dollars. Okay? This is freaking TED talk walking right here, you know? I've been doing some TED talk gestures out here. You know what this is? This is acting like nothing is wrong. And, then, and even if you don't know it, we're all doing it, folks, okay? We're all acting like nothing is wrong constantly, you know? And believe it or not, I made another song about it, baby. Woo! Let's roll it up. Roll it up. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I made the instrumental opening so long for this one. <laughs> Real awkward every time trying to figure out what to do while I wait. <laughs> I could have done the whole speech while over this. Stress here inside me, but I'm stuck at a party I want to be Feeling so free And having fun In Cali sun It's still there folks even though it's dark It's going wild They're at the top And they won't stop And now I know Just what to do I just have to act like nothing Pretending like my voice is singing when it's not. Just dancing along like nothing is wrong. Just dancing along like nothing is wrong. Pretend that you're fine, even though you're lying. And everything's wrong. Yes, everything's wrong. <laughs> I put another instrumental break in. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> oh, no. folks thank you so much for coming out that was it i don't know if it was 30 minutes but that's all i've got i'm bill Cotcamp. thanks for coming to beautiful uh, echo park lake to see me bear it all for nothing at all